Hello, Revit people. This is Chris with Valor VDC, and today I'd like to take a few minutes and talk to you about flow arrows. Why Revit doesn't include them out of the box, the world may never know. They should, in my opinion. I mean, the software will measure uh, water, air, gas flowing through the pipes, but it just won't tell you in what direction it's going. Before we begin, I'd like to direct you to our website where, where you can find these and download them for free. Uh, you can build them yourself. They're relatively easy. But if you go to Valor VDC and uh, you, uh, you go to uh, free stuff right here, click on free stuff, they'll come up and you just have to join. It, it's free, no credit card required. And you can go ahead and you can download them and you can run them. And I'd like to say these flow arrows uh, will, will come to uh, one will be a 2D symbol, that's uh, an annotation arrow. The other one is a 3D uh, symbol where it'll uh, show up in different views and, uh, you know, if you want to look at something in 3D or export stuff to Navis, you'll still be able to see it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Revit here and uh, go ahead and start. This is a generic template that I got from Autodesk. It's part of their residential um, house. It came with the 2019 version of Revit. I jumped in there. I did some quick piping so that we can get a good idea of uh, what's going on. Um, with these flow arrows, like I said earlier, we have two versions. We have one that's a symbol, uh, an annotation symbol, and the other one is a 3D. So I'm gonna start off with the annotation symbol and then we'll jump into the 3D side. So uh, once you download the family and you throw it in, you can come down here to families. Uh, the 3D arrows are pipe accessories. The annotation arrows are under the annotation symbols. And you can come down here and they're gonna be flow arrows right here. You can drag them in or you can go ahead and just hit the symbol button and then you can use a drop down to decide what size you want to use. I tend to use eighth inch. It matches, it matches all my arrows and stuff like that. And all you got to do is go in here and just uh, plop them in once you figure out what size you want. They, they just plop right in there. Uh, I recommend using a single line view when placing these uh, because they will just snap to the center line of the pipe. If you're in a double line view like I am here, you'll see that they snap to the edge, they snap to the middle, and you got to zoom in. It's just much easier running these in single line view and just putting them in. You can just drop them in wherever you want. You can put one here on the water heater, goes in that way as it comes in. You can just drop them right in. And like I said, these are 2D symbols, so just like text and dimensioning, they're not going to show up in other views. So if I go over here and I grab all this, these goodies and I use my selection box, you can zoom in and you can see that they're not there. If I go to another 3D view, you can see that they're not there, or not a 3D view, a floor plan view. You can see that they're not there. And if I go to fine, it wants me to save there, and you can see that they're still not there. So the symbols are very easy to use. They're just like dimension objects. The 3D flow arrows that are pipe accessories are um, a little bit more difficult. They will snap to the center of the pipe in plan view, but they will not snap to the elevation of the pipe. Hence is why I'm giving away free. They only work part time mostly, so to speak. But I do have a workaround that I'm going to show you once I figure out where my pipe accessories are in my dialog box here. Here they are. You can come in here, click on this, and just pull a 10 inch in. And, it, and as before, like I said before, it'll snap to the center line of the pipe or to the edges. I just prefer to be in a single line view and go ahead and place these bad boys. Wherever you want to put them, you can put them here. You can see that it kind of got off to the side there because it snapped into the edges there. You just have to tab through. And got a little ahead of myself there. Just use your space bar to rotate them. Once you place them, you can drag them down. 
because they they, they don't have pipe connectors or anything and uh, you can also put them on your uh, sloping sanitary lines but let's get real most of the time you're going to use it on a mechanical system I just didn't have a very good uh, template to show you um, if one does get set to the side you can just use the align tool it's got a reference arrow in the middle that'll line it up and what I mean by it not going into uh, snapping at the elevation of the pipe when I select them all and I go in here to a 3d view you will see that they're all sitting on the floor and all your pipe is up here. Hence is why I'm giving away free. Let me go ahead and hide this background so it doesn't get in the way. And the only thing you gotta do is your workaround is use the align tool. Just gotta find the center line there and plop them right in as you go. And they just drop right in. If you go to a single line again, that's much better. It's much better workaround. Just grab them, just drop them in. They just plop right in. So that's pretty much it for flow arrows. They're very simple to use. Um, you can get them from free from us. I, unfortunately, Autodesk doesn't give them away for with the uh, initial release. But I do see a lot of people on forums asking for them. I do know my field people call me up a lot of times because they want to see them. They're like, you know, it'd be a lot easier if you would just put the direction of flow on the pipe. So that's why I made them. Um, I prefer to use assembled ones because I don't want to see them showing up in the Navis models registering clashes. But if you want to use the 3D ones, be my guest. You know, I guess it'll look kind of cool going through the model. Uh, please remember to uh, visit us at Dollar VDC um, and get them for free. I mean, what, what do you got to lose, right? And uh, also like, share this video and uh, let other people know that we're out here. We're a young startup, uh, just trying to get our feet wet in the market right, right now. And uh, we offer things at economic prices that anybody can mostly afford. Most of our stuff is a buck, buck 25 a piece, and it all works. Unlike a lot of stuff that you download from other sites that are free families. Um, you're going to see a lot of good stuff coming out of us, a lot of drain solutions uh, like Zern drains with stabilizers, how to schedule them. Uh, we got a lot of stuff coming up, and uh, I, I think that you're going to be very impressed with what we have to offer and uh, how we're looking to uh, improve uh, just a lot of the workflows you see in Revit. Uh, I know, oh, I forgot to mention, these arrows also work with fabrication pipe. So if I were to go go in here and convert this to convert these lines to fabrication pipe here. I go design fabrication. I got to specify a configuration. I don't have one loaded. Let me go ahead and quickly load one here and I'll just pick a cold water. Come on. You can do it, man. And if I go back to plan view, oh, it didn't convert. So for you fabrication guys out there, you can still take these 3D arrows and you can plop them right on your pipe. You just don't have the luxury of being able to use a single line view. And as always, if you go back to your 3D view, these bad boys will be on the floor because Autodesk doesn't offer a good pipe curve solution to get to unless you want them to go to the outside of your pipe. So they work with fabrication fittings too. Yay. And uh, like I said, check us out. Uh, if you need content built, you can go ahead and request it. We'll take any request. I'm not saying that we'll build everything you ask for, but most of the time, if it's a pipe fitting or valve or something like that, we're not too terribly opposed to it. I just try to stray away from building a large piece of mechanical equipment like a chiller or some air handler units or condensers and stuff like that. So until next time, visit us, visit our YouTube channel more. Please like, share, and distribute this video. Thank you. Bye.